so um, I wanted to do a video um, about patients and helping patients to to resolve issues um, sometimes when we're smack bang in the middle of an issue we can't see the wood for the trees so um, you know that business deal isn't going through that relationship is falling apart um, that argument is is just blowing up and all you want to do is you just want to resolve it because it's causing a real agitation in you um, and your initial reaction is to try jump in um, and try and control the situation or go in guns blazing like the proverbial bull in the china shop um, what that does is it's uh, you know what you find is the more you try to jump in to try and control the situation the more then you know it kind of tends to make the situation worse because really um, our, our knee-jerk reaction is to try and control things you know when something's going wrong because we believe we can resolve it when we step back and allow something bigger than ourselves to actually um, take over the proverbial let go and let God what you find is that we're able to kind of come back be a bit more patient about the situation and then just observe um, observe how we're feeling observe what's happening uh, and what's not and what you find there's a real wisdom to the way you see it being resolved um, it almost becomes like watching a situation mature and you're learning lessons. I, I did a video once about the wisdom of procrastination and that sometimes, uh, and, and that sometimes, sorry, and how sometimes, you know, we don't know the full set of facts. So in that sense, it's best to kind of, in a sense, resolve back. We live in this can-do culture. We have to, have to, have to. And um, patience and just sitting quietly and still sometimes in certain situations seems like such a passive option that we don't want to take it we want to be doing something which can be counterproductive in a bad situation you're not going to persuade that person you're not going to allow this thing to happen earlier than it's going to you know, it's not going to happen earlier than you know you need it to happen so maybe what you need to do is just calm down let go of the situation step back and observe basically verily i was about to say verily there is a wisdom in why this situation is occurring to you in your life everything good and bad mostly bad situations bring a lot of wisdom you know for us you know the the, the whole proverbial dark night of the soul as a situation that's kind of destroying us you know like oh i really want this to happen or i really need this to happen but it's not happening and why isn't it and what can i do sometimes to just let go as hard as that may sound and just buy yourself some time and rest you'll find that there'll be a space and as that space increases a healing can occur um options can present themselves and what you find is that situation can resolve itself in the best way possible now this is something that varies between people to people because no doubt when something goes wrong everybody goes hey you know what mate get over it or let it go and all this stuff only you know what you're going through in that situation so you need to honor yourself you know what i mean and what that basically means is Try and bring it into, uh, make it about you, concentrate on you. Remember, it's about your mental faculties, your, you know, you feeling a bit sane in the situation, not going off like a headless chicken. So do what makes you feel best. If you feel that you want to jump in, you will. And eventually what you'll find is that, hold on, I'm just ruining things here. And then patience comes into it, a stepping back and realizing that there's nothing I can do to resolve this issue. Now let go, let go and let God or let go and let life take over and and let it do what it needs to do in order for me to get the conclusion because sometimes we so when something goes wrong we so so want want this thing we need this thing you know a relationship breakups are probably the best you know i so want that person i so want them to understand what i'm going through and whatnot and everything and after a while you realize well there's nothing i'm doing you know right here so you can want to go up to a person so i say hey this 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 and this but the other person's not ready or the other person really doesn't want to know and has moved on and you're kind of going oh uh, 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 you know why is it that my grand gestures aren't working then it's a time to just kind of go well you know what it's time to let you go time to for you to go where you need to go but i need to concentrate on me there's patience if the situation is going to resolve then allow me to have the patience that you will learn the lessons that you need to learn and i will learn the lessons that i need to learn what you may find is in the lessons that you learn you let go and you move on and you realize that that situation and the resolution of that situation was actually just to in order, in order to help you to move on to something even better because it's amazing how sometimes you know you really want something and then something better comes along it's that whole london buses thing you're waiting for a bus and there wasn't four of them come along that's a bit flippant i apologize but um 
what you find is sometimes in letting go of the situation and giving yourself some clarity you may just find there's something better but life had to in a sense end that like that this is why when you allow life to take over it's amazing those little aha moments you have and those little chuckles to yourself that you have as life synchronistically brings people into the situation and it's almost like watching um i don't drink so i don't even know why i'm using this reference it's like you know a mature wine you wouldn't drink a wine before maturity you know there's, there's people paying thousands and thousands of bottles of you know thousands of thousands of pounds for bottles of wine and it has to be matured at a certain point and life does something very similar it allows a situation to mature so if that situation is meant to resolve itself it will resolve itself in time and space where you will have learned your lesson and the other people will have learned their lesson as well or that issue will resolve itself in that place if it's a case of you're meant to move on then guess what that space of moving away from a a, a, a toxic situation a negative situation will then allow you to that space to heal yourself to take care of yourself because remember it's sometimes it can it can't it might not even be about the other person's reaction it may just be about your reaction your reactions might be wrong and maybe then what you need to do is sit with yourself and allow yourself to slowly but surely see through your emotions because a lot of the times it's not the actual situation it's what we're thinking about it that causes the problem so the situation could be something very very simple but it's your reaction by stopping by being patient you'll find that you're able to observe and as you're able to observe how you're feeling uh, what you're thinking and everything you will find that hold on i've got time now to resolve the issue all issues are resolved when they're resolved within you um so you know the thing is this work on yourself if you want to resolve any problems or issues that you have in your life from from work issues through to business issues to personal issues to relationship issues or whatever concentrate on yourself work on yourself first see how you are feeling be better for yourself sometimes trying to find a solution in the other is just a recipe for disaster the safest surest place you know what i mean you know and and this is pretty much in everything whether it's in the spiritual endeavor whether it's in in in, in business in relationship if i'm projecting my happiness and i'm projecting my solution outwards then nine times out of ten i'm going to be disappointed but if i'm comfortable with myself and i'm happy with myself then that emanates you know what i mean that's that's real love that's real beauty that's a real presence that emanates outwards it's amazing how you just can attract the right people and the right things into your life sometimes things come into your life and they're there to teach you a lesson and it's bitter and it's horrible when they leave but you've got to take the lessons from it and think to yourself well yeah okay lovely maybe you weren't but thank you so much for a lesson le lesson that you taught me and again this process of healing takes its time and it varies between different people so honor yourself honor who you are you know, I, I always say to people who come to my talks, you already know this stuff. If you didn't, you wouldn't be here. You know, and have that confidence in yourself that if you already know this and there's some fundamental knowing of this, that you will find your way home. And all I'm showing is that, okay, I'll facilitate a situation or I'm showing that here's a possibility, that it is possible because a lot of the times we don't feel it. Again, going back to situational resolution problems, sometimes when we're in trouble, you know, we can't see the wood for the trees. Life will never be the same. But it's amazing and it's such a cliche what I'm about to say. But time is a healer. But time is up to you how long you want to take it or how short you want to do it. Honour yourself. Be good to yourself. And the more you're good to yourself and the more you love yourself, it's amazing how life can become really, really amazing. I, I live an incredible life, but I've been through some incredible pains as well. Um, and I won't bore you with the story here. But what you find is the more you concentrate on yourself and the more you know loving you are towards yourself, it's incredible how you attract some of the most loving people in the world. And I have some incredible people in my world. And they're people who believe in me and they're people who love me. And I love them back. And I'm I'm so blessed to have these people here. And you know, the journey continues and it's fun and it has its ups and downs. But what I found is by being patient, what it's amazing how in time and space everything gets resolved everything's taken care of life is wanting to give you everything you ever wanted it's wanted to give you everything that you desire good bad or indifferent you just have to trust it and then what you'll find is in following life and that humility what you'll find is even some of your desires that you thought you wanted may just disappear because you've grown as a person so there may be something i really want but then as i go through life i realize well no maybe i don't it's been replaced by something so much better and that's a beautiful thing to to go through however you have to take that journey 
So sometimes, you know, a situation could be bad, you could be hurt, you could be in pain, you could be really hurting, but stop. You know, stop. Just literally stop and realise it's about you. And heal yourself. You're not responsible for anybody else. You know, you're responsible for you and sometimes what it is is your reaction can help heal others. But in healing myself, I'm healing others because guess what? There's no separation. And when you realise that, you realise that, yes, you can sort out a situation, but bring it into yourself. As you start healing yourself, it's incredible how your world heals. You know, I, I, uh, I you know, I've found that life has, has drastically improved when I've gone into service to myself. When I'm, ser you know, when, when I'm serving my higher good, you know, when I'm in touch with the divine. Yes, it's equally valid that in being in service to others can get us what we want as well. But at the same time, it's equally valid by being good to myself will help others as well because I'm a better person for it. I'm healthier, I'm happier. And what I find is it helps others. So it's interchangeable. Depending on the situation, sometimes it's best to help that other person. Sometimes it's best to help yourself. And I know that's kind of going against what a lot of the video. But the wisdom is knowing when you need to react. That comes from patience. Patience is the gateway to wisdom. The more patient you become, the more wiser you become, if there is anything such as a wise person, whatever that is. I did actually ask the other day on, on, on my Facebook about it. But you'll find that um, the solutions will be there. You know, the space will be there. But again, it's about trusting yourself and being patient. Patience opens up a lot of things. And one of the, one of the best ways to resolve problems is sometimes stop and be patient. That, you know, it will work itself out. Life takes care. Always realize that lives take care and whatever you're feeling, remember, it will pass. It always passes. These emotions, these thoughts are transient. They keep moving. They, they always keep moving. Just because I may give a certain thought power doesn't mean it's always going to be like that and stuff. So, yes, you know, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please stay blessed. Please stay lucky. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, Hit me up on social media. Um, I am moving around, I believe, in the next couple of weeks. I'm in Edinburgh for the next two weeks. And then Bristol, Coventry, um, back to Glasgow and wherever else I'm, I'm kind of following my trail, you know, too. So have a good day. And, um, yes, be patient.